Welcome back guys. We are here with the Legacy Challenge with Evelyn Greenberry and her family. We are in a, on a mission. I know last time we left off on them leaving, the whole family leaving to the country club induction. And we got back and everything, but don't know what happened to the uh, notices. We never did receive anything. They just got back. Uh, she was accepted and that was it. Uh, it's almost Gustavo's birthday. There's so many here, but there's nothing uh, that says, you know, even the date is here. Nothing that says that they were accepted or that they got something and they were supposed to get a, uh, a trait that they were in the country club. I don't know if the mod is broken, but for now we're going to assume it is as there is nothing there and every time she tries to go back upstairs, I mean onto the computer to find out about it, all it says is to uh, country club application, activities, uh, country club, and study the Rock Ridge club history. And that's things that you are to do before you get accepted. I don't know if it's like glitched, but I'm going to assume it. But anyway, welcome back. Today, Today's goal is to make a birthday event. <clears throat> It is going to be, I believe, Aisha's birthday. So we are going to go ahead and make, well, let's see. It's first going to be his birthday. But Aisha will be, how do you say this? I don't get it. Okay, so Aisha will be a teenager. And as a, te a teenager in the, that, um, as a teenager turning 16 will be, her debutante ball. So that is something we have to look forward to. Now we won't be celebrating that on her birthday, but it will be more of a spring. It happens between uh, spring and summer where they go to different uh, debutante balls. They present themselves to society. And um, since Evelyn has been part of a big society with the uh, foster families and the homeless uh, family um, then she is recognized as one of one of the most uh, recognized sim in town um, let's go ahead and get her to throw that away and mop it up and that's what we're gonna do tonight no tomorrow's uh, Gustavo's birthday so we're gonna be celebrating that that's gonna be Thursday uh, and we want to go ahead and check out a couple of places for the birthday party for Aisha who's uh, her birthday is that week her son's birthday Jared's birthday is next Thursday so we have both guys on Thursdays ladies on different days so now if you guys remember in the past she was a foster child child. Uh, she was never adopted. She never had her forever home until she got married with Gustavo. She was released from the foster care and on her own. So she lived in a homeless shelter that they had and we will be uh, Wednesday. Why aren't you guys going to school? It's not go to school they're missing school 808 go to school okay so what she's gonna be doing today she's gonna go and visit this uh what do you call it uh oh my gosh i don't know where my brain is at today she's gonna go visit the homeless shelter i'm looking over here to see this made my day seems like like my parent was so funny and fun to be around i just love hearing more about okay so they must have had some kind of um story to go through but yeah the kids are gonna go to school they're gonna go ahead and turn in their um their projects that they finished i haven't gotten a notice um that they've uh getting extra credit um and i don't see here that anything jumped you see here it doesn't say anything about them actually getting extra credit for their projects and they were uh, maybe you're not supposed to put him inside their backpack three days school holidays because of school holidays um maybe that's why because they're not supposed to be in school but anyway we're going to be visiting the homeless shelter to see in, in what state it is since um since evelyn uh was there since she got married and had kids and you know 
pretty busy. It looks like this little rabbit wants uh, gifting. Do we have a carrot? Uh, see, they don't take your carrots. They ask for carrot. Harvest all. Harvest carrots really quick. And then I want you to give a carrot to this little guy. Come on, mama. And then we're going to go visit. Come on. Thank you. Now, let's go ahead and give him a gift. Uh, gift produce. I don't know if they... But I saw a little... Um, and we are supposed to be completely French friends with the uh, bees and it looks like we are so check mark off on that one and we need to go oh there's thunder let's see if the rabbit likes it yes oh likes it okay uh take the gift offered from the rabbit and we're pretty good friends with our little rabbit um yeah really good friends so and i think they're taking care this one's enraged uh and see bond i don't want her apply yeah that's probably why because they have my um sell the honey they she pretty much took care of everything uh so we're gonna go see if we you know uh how our homeless area is and i will meet you guys there okay so here we are and the place looks the same nothing has really been upgraded or changed from the outside as um Evelyn can see the same things are all here. So she's thinking maybe nobody's actually taken over it. Um, but let's go inside. The door, I believe, is on the front. Oh, it's backward. And as you can see, no. Why do I always press bike here? Go here. Go here. Um, and as you can see, it has not changed a bit. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody's done anything with the bedrooms. Are you in charge of this place? Garden shop owner. I got the crumple bottom. You're not going to go. Oh, you're losing it, dude. You got to get some more money. It was 17 and now you're getting 15. Uh-uh. Okay. So the plan was for this place to have separate bedrooms for everybody, like many houses for people to come and live here until they can get themselves situated with a job. Nobody's really taken interest. It looks like the kitchen is still the same. There's no different. Here's the um, computer room uh, where you can study and do whatever you need to do. So it just kind of looks like it has been left alone. Go here, sweetheart. Um, and... It, it, that's not good. The whole plan for this place was for Evelyn to see it, you know, uh, develop and be a place where people can come and live here with their families and children while there is no homes for them. And then get um, some kind of education or skills for work for those uh, maybe even single moms that don't have a place to go if they've been in a relationship that it's not a healthy relationship then maybe they could come here and stay here um but somebody needs to take charge of this place evelyn is so <laughs> she's like i'm gonna go swimming and um everybody else can just discuss this later um we have a lot of okay is that him is he in already in oh yeah he's energized he is totally in so we are going to do that in her legacy that is one of the things that she wants to do is help others you know feed others teach others uh leave behind the legacy of helping others how to fend for themselves you know the saying of uh give a man a fish and they eat for a day teach them to to fish and they will eat for every day so crisp air nothing smell of clean clean forest air we have a forest on here yeah it looks like it so that is what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be uh, making sure that everybody is you know staying in places now they don't have a lot of money but with the equity of their home they can ask for a loan at the bank and you know uh even with their own mortgage and stuff they can still make it because of their you know future plan and right now their plan is to make this a suitable place for them to live right now we have a a temporary bathroom situation as cute as it might look it is not the essential idea now what i'm going to go ahead and show you is uh what kind of uh you know structure i would like to see and no no i don't want to go anywhere i just want to go ahead and go into this place now we have a 40 by 30 and i'm pretty sure do we have any lot traits uh yes we do we'll add some more 40 by 30 is a 
good size for what she wants to do and I would like to go ahead and build little mini homes here and have a pool in the middle this could be a uh, not not sure if I want to put like um, their own kitchen but more of a community kitchen where people can come and cook and a community uh, a computer room and study room uh, a place where they can come and have games and stuff almost like a recreation uh, center but without you know with the rooms and places to live now there can be places for single mothers to live uh, families to live in until they can get themselves you know educated and i believe that evelyn wants to do that now that her kids are going to school she has all day to take care of other things uh, so far there is no plans for them to have another baby i don't know if she wants to have another baby but for now that that pretty much sums it up what she wants to do with that you know and uh we can do that we can we can totally turn this whole thing around into a small little community area for them um uh i don't actually do not see them wanting another baby now maybe they can discuss this but if you think about it aisha's getting big you know she's gonna turn into a, a teenager and she's gonna have evelyn Evelyn is going to have a lot to, on her plate with, you know, her uh, debutante. Her brother is going to be escorting her uh, into the debutante uh, ball. Uh, Dad and mom are going to be busy. So we'll see what happens. But at this point, they are not wanting another child. Uh, and we do have people here. She's the garden. Uh, okay, so she probably is coming here to deliver to deliver fresh uh, vegetables and fruits for the community kitchen. Uh, she's probably just a uh, swimmer who loves to swim. So maybe we can do that. That will be in a future gameplay where this homeless shelter will be something that she can turn around in honor of what she went through and who was here for her when she needed it the most after she got out of foster care. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. What else do they want to do today? Today, uh, she just look at the bright side, listen to blues music. Um, and he wants to become confident and chat with Emilio. Uh, that's very easy to do because Emilio is, um, right here and just send him, you know, chat with him, talk to him. Uh, well, get out of the pool, get out of the pool, come and sit here. And then I want you to go ahead and chat with Emilio. I don't see anything wrong with you getting out of the pool i love these little icons that we get look at this hoping to adopt soon gustavo is hoping to adopt a little hairy cutie best friend soon so it looks like he wants um oh no it's gone okay only one on one condition all right i'll let you get a sleeping bag but you tell your friends the sleepover should be here i'll her think their son he's dazed um their, their son wants a sleepover and we should do that we should totally have a sleepover it, it, it's getting you know to be the weekend and they're pretty much doing really good i don't understand why their their project wasn't you know included in uh in their okay well they have a b and she has a b okay so this should be moving up pretty fast and um you know what i didn't do no i did tell them to go ahead and work hard so i don't know what's going on Okay, so this would be the, the community area for now. And um, the other thing that I wanted to get done is to have um, her actually start a garden. So what she's going to do is going to collect some of her fruits and vegetables. I don't want to put too many because, you know, one carrot can feed a lot. So she's going to plant this here and she's going to continue to do this community garden for them. That way they all can have fresh fruit and vegetables and maybe the shop owner can bring some stuff too and we can fix up this kitchen because oh it's about oh i am so sorry gustavo you go to work i know um complete everything is complete he starts okay go eat something and then go take a shower you can't eat something here have lunch okay have a quick meal maybe have a quick um goodness 
honestly right before work and you're hungry it's the worst it's the worst never mind he's going to work um i know the feeling what time do you start one o'clock okay you might have time to, to get that shower in and have a peanut butter jelly sandwich but i can relate because um uh, i start at three o'clock in the afternoon and i work part-time till 7 45 so having dinner is a little confusing for me since i've been trying to eat before 6 p.m and our break is at 5 30 and we only get around 10 minutes to actually eat so I have to eat a big meal at 2 o'clock, get dressed, and leave around 2.20. Parking is horrible. Uh, so I can relate to Gustavo, but eat and then you can... Oh, it looks like you're going to still have time to do whatever you need to do. Uh, and then if you have time, go to the bathroom. Evelyn, you're going to be here and you're talking to the neighbors. Are you being friendly? Compliment her and give her a pep talk. She's confident. Who is she? Marley Mosley. Um, and you know her, right? You do. We do need to make friends. Respectful introduction. How about you? And respectful introduction. Okay, let's get to know everybody because you never know who's going to be there. Can we say hi to you too? What is your... Uh, Blair? Oh, Blair, can you hold on? Blair Davidson. Is this Grandma? Grandma Davidson? Yeah, okay. And then... Um, uh, friendly. Oh, we already know you. Okay. Ah, uh, compliment. No. Just be friendly with her. Uh, small talk. Ask about your day. No asking for any loans. Um, kid, go home. Go. Are you with grandma? Is that who you're with? Who are you? Michaelson. Michaelson, you're supposed to be at home. Okay, so get to know everybody here so that way um, you can probably, you know, ask people to help around here. Gustavo, you're about to go to... I'm really hoping that your day goes a lot better than it has before. If not, we're just going to have to get you a better job. Uh, he's an author. He should be getting a promotion this week sometime. Okay, stop with your exercises and go to work. And mom uh, or your wife will stay here here and take care of everything so Evelyn, Evelyn just wants to go ahead and make sure that she has all of her friends and uh, Anita is a musician so there we go for you know entertainment we can have that is off to work okay um, go ahead and work hard and get that promotion we need you to get a promotion because we need some extra money first of all the debutante is very expensive um, and uh, fixing up this place right now is pretty expensive and I would just wish I could have shown you the results but they had gotten to the point where they were back and everything but nothing appears there and they were supposed to get um a like a trait life i don't think there's anything in here either pristine reputation nothing see it doesn't show it took a vacation to another region wrote a book nothing first promotion so i'm pretty curious to see what happened why no evidence of them actually getting into it um, is here so I don't um, okay I think Evelyn is pretty happy no this is a new restaurant we have to come and try out here's our little uh, park where the kids can be brought over some lemonade stand and we're gonna go ahead and just um, make sure that everything is order in order for them to fix up this place they're gonna have to get an estimate and talk to a development agency to have that done but I think small little places you know a tiny living room a little bathroom bedroom room for them there's going to be uh kids uh houses and or places for families to live in and places to have the single moms you know young moms or any mom that might need you know a refuge to come to you never know who needs it so and then if there is any space we'll go ahead and get a greenhouse for them to grow more stuff during the winter you know it is gonna get cold very soon we have four out of 21 uh what are you doing you're gonna stretch how about we go home okay so we're home and actually she does need to harvest everything harvest all and there's our bunnies uh oh we got a weed as well Let, uh oh more choices go ahead and okay i get oh well never mind our little bunnies have come to help us and that is very helpful they come here to eat the weeds or take care of them. i don't know what they do with the weeds but uh bond with the bees i don't know why they're how about you guys how are you guys you guys are enraged apply did you not apply that maybe she didn't um 
It looks so beautiful, so relaxing. I just keep thinking one day I'll have a room. I'm not too much into like maybe a greenhouse and stuff, but a, a little sun room where I can sit with my kitties and read a book and have some tea or have coffee. That is my dream. Someday, I don't know, one day I'll have. But for now, I can dream with um, harvest everything. And um, your husband's birthday is tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we can order a cake because I don't think we have a cake. Um, I wanted like a little display here. The dryer is done. Unload, clean and damp. Dry laundry. Okay. Uh-oh. Mom, did you forget to clean up? Yeah. Clean. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can order a cake. I know I have her doing so much already. Oh, no. It has to be done. And then, let's see, what does this one say? Sage advice on responsibility. It's from receiving a lifelong lesson on responsibility. That seemed like some very good advice on responsibility. It just might help Evelyn. Sure. I don't know who gave. Okay, so we're going to purchase a piece of cake bakery. Um, Let's order. Oh, I thought I had more cake. Let's order him a white cake. That way, you know, it's uh, ready. Put it down. Why are you not working? What's wrong with you? pastry box oh it's in the pastry box put it in but open open it and then can we put it on the counter so we can put the candle oh such difficult a, a b is bad uh, i don't know what happened i don't like the fact that i can't put candles on it like um okay so it looks like the kids did not get an a for some reason but it looks like they will be getting an a this week and for me the important thing about them getting a's is that it gives them a sense of responsibility that this is well manner responsibility emotional control uh conflict resolution mediator empathy this one is something that i want um i need to have them study that one and i believe that the only way that you can actually do that um i think one of the ways is to have them work on the uh, medical yeah I'll go get one of those. Okay. So these are the little bare medical things that I know that they want to do their homework and do things and that's fine. But after that, I'm going to have them eat. Probably play for a little while on that. Mom, hey. you're eating already. Is there any leftovers for the kid? And can you please clean this up uh, more? Can we open this up and find out what's going on over here? Okay, so we have seven left. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need to go down there and do that at the shop. I don't understand why I cannot put it here. I don't understand it. So you're supposed to age up a child from here. Is that the dryer? Okay. Oh, no. Clean, clean it. Oh, my goodness. I hate when that happens. Oh, they're doing their homework outside. Kids, why are you guys... Do you guys have an umbrella over your head? Nope. They're out there in the rain doing their homework. That is a little ridiculous seeing that you guys are getting everything wet. Um, well, they have a choice. And they're getting to be old enough to decide what they want to do. And if that is something they want to do, that is okay with me. I am not going to worry about that. So, uh, it is Wednesday afternoon. It seems like we can only get through one day, uh, complete. Okay, good. Now, can you just dry the laundry again, please? Oh, my goodness. And then clean the lint tray. Yeah, you are going to have to up upgrade it. Um, upgrade to... Oh, so many things to do in this house. Okay, so we have to upgrade the washing machine and dryer i don't know if the sink is upgraded i doubt it um sturdy faucets okay so it's upgraded to that self-cleaning auto soap dispenser wash up faster under the watchful present of the auto soap dispenser okay uh self-cleaning would be good you are done with your homework that is very good oh you're gonna do extra credit look at these kids i mean she is really trying to knock it out she wants that a really bad and you're gonna get an a you are going to get an a before you go into high school now before we end this part i do want to go ahead and plan this event for uh, gustavo um and tomorrow is thursday so it we're just gonna add um no not look at that oh 
how cute the main prize is powerful dose of good humor school dance dance is time to start bring your friends or meet other children that you don't know yet anyway dance floor is yours Br bring a stereo or dj booth if you decide oh that is so cute um oh that's right we do want a slumber party it's gonna have to be this weekend but we need a birthday party for the dad of the house where did i pass it school family dinner incognito spooky we will be throwing a lot of these guys a charity ball um slumber party birthday party right here yes okay and we are going to have it birthday sim is going to be dad and then the guests are going to be all of our friends and his friends get most of his friends exclude any of his friends okay elijah i don't know if i have mikhail uh we gotta uh that's our mutual mostly we just met them uh clara davidson looks like they really hit it off agatha that's it i'm sorry no caterer no mixologist and entertainer nothing like that and we're gonna have it here at the house the small little birthday there we go the greenberry um and then at what time let me see it is four o'clock he gets off so let's have it at 7 p.m a little party we won't have it too late we'll just have his main things or we'll start early let's start at no 5 a.m crazy 5 p.m and that way let's see um yeah birthday party for him tomorrow he works to 9 p.m oh he's gonna have to come home early unless he gets a promotion today and he has a day off tomorrow or he comes home early sorry about the whole debacle with the uh country club if you guys know of the country club mod if you know if there's something wrong with it can you guys let me know because like i said i tried and there should have been something in their traits as you know country club own, uh, member but there is nothing nothing at all there is no memory it was just like it was wiped off and i know this is the right file so i don't know what happened but um okay upgrade this one to no you need more parts is what you need i'm gonna go ahead and um end this part for now next part we will be having uh, the birthday party so we'll be seeing you guys right when the birthday starts and have some fun it's thursday tomorrow we'll see if he gets a promotion and then we will move on from there um on Friday, they're going to make an appointment to the bank to see if they can get a loan for the uh, homeless shelter. Um, why did it stop? Is it done? Did the clothes disappear? The clothes disappeared, guys. Oh, it's still, still moving. It's still drying. Okay, it's not done yet. But until next time, thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget, at my 200 subscribers, we will be uh, having a kit giveaway. So look forward to that. Look forward to more uh, stories. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. And bye for now.